advantages or disadvantages of having cabbage lectures floating plants within your fish pond. everybody welcome again to another episode of fish keeping jamaica welcome to my channel okay so you all know that i have outdoor backyard system where i keep aquaponics uh, aquaponic system i keep ornamental fish and i also rear um you know breed keep trade um tilapia right tilapia being the latest um you know business venture in which i've gone into I shared with you a few days ago um, that I got some lettuce floating lily at a pet shop and it's doing really awesome it's doing really good I love it right but you know in retrospect in looking at it there are some advantages of having it within your fish pond space, space with your fish and there are some amount of disadvantages right so today i'll be sharing with you some of both okay so these plants are floating lettuce right and the roots are in the pond and the roots aid in the supply of oxygen to the fish so that's a plus in addition to that whenever the fish do spawn you know i have yellow labs in this pond right uh so these yellow labs that are within this space i don't know if you can spot them but they are presently hiding amongst the plants within the space i'm about to feed them so that's why they are kind of looking up because this this is like the usual the usual um you know time in which i will feed them so the yellow labs are there right these yellow labs I would say are my boot stock the stock in which I end up getting I end up getting uh, these fish All these yellow lambs uh, were bred within that same space and um, yeah I'm getting a good enough amount of stock I collected these recently I think there are 20 of them 20, 10 are here and 10 are around the back right so why is it that I is I'm suggesting that this plant is, it can be advantageous and disadvantageous to your system. Like the Elodia Densa, which is actually submerged totally within the water space, the, uh, the, the lettuce, uh, the floating cabbage, <laughs> yeah, floating, uh, uh, floating cabbage, not lettuce, floating cabbage, um, water lily um, floats at the top right the elodia densa do not add to the bio load unless um everything in the entire space is actually you know messed up right so why is it that this is really necessary so let's look at the, the advantages first one it has root system which allow babies to actually hide um in between it can even go into the plant itself right and hide right that's babies for the yellow lab right right so the babies will actually go in they can find somewhere to hide and they will be protected against the larger one which probably might want to consume it right two right as you can see it is very broad right so it cover a, a good amount of surface area within the pond itself and so therefore it helps to shade the water from both the heat yeah the heat and the sun um like it, it would regulate the temperature for the water and also it will limit the, the degree in which the water become green and so here I've, I've actually looked at two right yeah you can say two and a half right in addition to that advantage right it also as i said before help to provide some amount of oxygen into the uh to the fish that exists within the space 
Okay, so let's quickly look at some disadvantage. Well, another advantage. I, I did not remember. Another advantage. Um, if you look at the plant, you can see something, right? What you see is um, shedding leaves from my cherry tree. And so instead of going in the water to actually take up, instead of going in the water, this wasp, it's like it won't bite me. And I'm not into the wasp biting this evening. All right. So instead of going into the water and taking out the leaves, all right? Instead of going in the water and taking out the leaves, now this plant actually helps me to catch the leaf. So I can just shake up the leaf and everything will be good again. This was whoa, 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 whoa. Right? All right? So it's good there. Um, the LOD adenser does not shed leaves. It does not add to the bio load within the system. Right? Um, this can be a problem adding bio load. As you can see, a leaf has actually been shedded. Right? As it actually grows from the inside out, the outer leaves will actually, um, you know, fall apart, fall from the main plant, and it actually rot within the water. And if you don't take it out, it will become a part of the, the bio waste, or should I say, the bio load of the, the entire pond itself. Right? So that can be a, a, a regarded as a disadvantage. All right. Two is that um, I live in the tropics, right? And um, if I have prolonged rain, right, within my tubs, rainfall in my tubs, you know, fall inside my tubs. Um, Nothing will happen to my Elodia Densa. My Elodia Densa and this other plant, I, I'm not sure. I don't think it's Harnot. I don't remember. I think it's, I don't remember what's its name. My head is kind of sleeping right now, right? Rainwater will just fall up here and the overflow will actually take up the excess water and the Elodia will stay in the pond. As far as this is concerned, too much water will, well, too much rainfall will cause the middle section of the plant to rot and sometimes it may cause additional problem. Um, so when it rots, you don't have um, much more source of oxygen for your pond. And also when, it, um, when the rain falls or even when it is too much submerged within the water like this is, where you find, you find water puddles, right? And you know that fish actually consumes um, wrigglers, what you call it, um, mosquito larvae. Now mosquitoes are very smart. They can live within tiny spaces. And so if a mosquito do lay eggs here, the pupae or the, or the larvae can actually stay here, develop into a mosquito, and become a source of my problem when I come around here to service my ponds. Right? Because they won't swim out, because if they swim out, um, I don't know, come like them have sense. If they do swim out, the fish in here will consume them. But if they stay in here, then they will be okay. So here we have two disadvantages. Right. One is that it adds to the bio load as the leaf, outer leaf sheds. And two, water within itself um, can actually destroy the plant very easily. And three, the water within the plant itself can increase, one, not only mosquitoes, but also other insects to actually populate the space. And you don't want that. Right? So you have to check your plants. Yes, I do use it and I use it primarily because... Um, I, I, I think um, I can get more um, emboma fries if I do because the babies will actually find a way inside, right? So that practically three disadvantages here, right? Another disadvantage, if you, you could say it's a disadvantage, is that the root system, you now the root system, it, it spreads out at the base of the plant right and if not managed properly right like you have to take it out and you have to clip it sometime what you'll find is that it forms something like a web beneath the water surface just like hyacinth lily form something like a web right and it can actually take up a lot of space swimming space for your fish so your fish won't have that amount of space to swim around unlike the elderly adensa you know elderly adensa it, it, it Depend on the sun, the heat, it will actually rise to the top and go down to the bottom 
I, I, I can't explain that one but it happens it's easier for you to actually click the LED aliens and the roots of these plants because if you click them too much they will die and if you don't click them um, the fish will have limited space to swim worse if it's the fish is like a good size right so um you have to look at that when you're talking about these plants but they are really lovely to have within your, 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 your pond space um especially like a space where you need to have like open air like this you don't really have a what i call it now a, a fish room or uh how i say um i, I like a canopy that shades it from the sun the, these ponds are exposed to the entire elements of the sun i am presently just coming home from work and i have just taken out my m from this space and i am just i'm going to be moving this to here um probably tomorrow so i'm allowing the water to you know become i call it now fish safe so it stays there for about between 24 to 48 hours well uh that's my video for today it's rainy season i got my yard cut because i don't like it when the mosquitoes go in the plant as i said before mosquitoes tend to go in the plant and it's you know if there's a droplet of water on the plant leaf it will act Actually lay its egg and that egg can actually become a flying disaster you know mosquito and then bite hot you know so thank you for stopping by guys have a wonderful day a lot of work a lot of happenings on my well, within my system um i've shared a lot of them with you um just be patient you will see them in short order peace i'll catch you next time bye bye